honeycomb. Go ahead and read. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And by his word, the servant is warned. Lord, letting you know, man, if you don't keep this thing, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you. Go ahead and read. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. And there's a great reward. I'm talking about eternal life, sisters and brothers, by keeping these commandments. Go ahead and read. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. And that is what this word do. It'll cleanse you from your secret faults. Faults that you didn't even know nothing about. But when you start reading, you say, oh, man, I can't do that either. Right. Go ahead and read. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. And Lord, keep me from sinning over and over and over again. Yes. You know, I just want one day, I keep saying, I just want one day when I don't have to say, Lord, forgive me. But just say, Lord, thank you for letting me walk upright this day. Yes, sir. You know, but it's always something. You know, that's why we got to walk to perfection. Go ahead and read. Let them not have dominion over me. And that's the key. Don't let them have dominion over you. Don't let sin take over you. Fight the good fight. Yes. Go ahead and read. Then shall I be upright, uh -huh. and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Because the great transgression is getting you cut off. You don't want no part of that. You know, but you'll notice every time the Lord, Paul mentioned this uncleanliness, he mentioned the breaking them commandments. Let's go show you. Let's go to Ephesians. Because Paul talks about staying, staying away from, from all uncleanliness, too. But they never read this in the, I always ask, well, what uncleanness is Paul is talking about? You know, you can't drink, man. You can't smoke. Hey, she got a short skirt on, man. You can't wear that, man. It's unclean. No, they ain't got nothing to do with unclean. Unclean is in the book. Ephesians 4, I mean, Ephesians 5, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Paul talks about unclean and clean. Talks about it. It's there. All you got to do is read it. I know it take a long time for most of them people in the church because they just read one verse. Take a long time to get there. Got to be in church 20 years to get there. Ephesians 5 and 1. 5 and 1. Go ahead and read. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And that is what you want. You want to be a follower of God, sisters and brothers. Go ahead and read. And walk in love. As Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling sake. Because Lord, he died for us. He died for us. Because if we, he didn't die for us, we'd be yet in our sins. Go ahead and read. But fornication and all uncleanness. See, all but fornication and all, how absolute is that? All uncleanness. But you see what he's lining it up with? Go ahead and read. Or covetousness. Uh -huh. Let it not be once named among you. See, you don't, you don't let that uncleanliness be named among you. You stay away from that stuff. Go ahead and read. As becometh saints. Uh, if you're going to be a saint, hey, man, you stay away from all that uncleanliness. That is what a real saint going to do. But in order for you to be a saint, somebody got to teach you how to be a saint, right? That's why I started off showing you that this is a preacher job to tell you what is clean and unclean and show you the difference between holy and unholy. It is the preacher job. Go ahead and read. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor you know, jesting. You know, you know, no, no, that foolish talking and that just, you know, that plan and stuff. That plan be messing people up. You know, some of these brothers got thin skin. You play too much, you hurt them. You know how brothers used to play dozens when we was younger? You beat a brother down too much, he want to fight. See, the Lord don't want you dealing with that. That, 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 that funny talking and that just don't play so much. Go ahead and read. Which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, no whoremonger who nor, nor unclean person. No unclean person going to do what? Go ahead and read. Nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So it's very important you know this cleaning law. Like I said, this, this cleaning law got everything to do with you getting salvation. Book says you unclean person ain't getting in the kingdom of God. That is why it's so important for us to teach you what is clean and what is unclean. That is why we teach it. Let's go a little further. Let's go to uh, Colossians. Chapter 3, Colossians 3. We getting there, y'all. Paul talks about this cleanliness, man. 3.
Three and five. Three and five. Three and five. Go ahead and read. Mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth. Fornication. In other words, the b discipline your members. Yes, sir. Have some temperance, self-control. Go ahead and read. Fornication, uncleanness. <laughs> Fornication, uncleanness. Go ahead and read. Inordinate affection. No, have no control over yourself. Evil concupiscence. No, evil desires. That kind of stuff. Go ahead and read. And covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. So when you're dealing with uncleanliness, you are being disobedient. See, Paul talks about it. Nobody just wants to read it. And he lines it up with what? Fornication, uh, inordinate affection, no self-control, you know, evil desires, mm -hmm. covenants. Yes. He lined it up right up with the commandments, right? Yes, sir. Because all that is in one big book. All that is against God. And when you do that, comes the wrath of God because of disobedience. Go ahead and read. In the which ye also walked some time when ye lived therein. You know, you used to them. do those things, but you don't do them no more. Go ahead and read. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. You know, you stop being angry all the time, you know, and wrath, you know, and malice. You know, having something against people and everything. No, you know, that, that ain't godly. You understand? How are you going to be a servant of God having something against somebody all the time? You a servant of God. You just keep yourself straight. If somebody want to act ugly, let them act ugly. But you keep yourself straight. You don't let nobody tell you how to be a servant of God. I'm not saying kiss up all of them. If somebody speak to you, speak back to them. You understand what I'm saying? You a servant of God. I ain't saying be buddy-buddy with them, but speak to the people. Yes, sir. You are representing God. I can't understand that about Israel. Holding grudges, that's against God. Come on, man. I keep telling everybody, hey, man, we all we got. Why are we acting out toward each other? It's bad enough we got to deal with the world. Yes, sir. But in here, we got to be friends. We got to be brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Praise God. We all trying to get to that same destination, the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Show some love. Read that again, man. But... Ye also know, ye also put off all these anger, malice, wrath, malice, blasphemy, evil, communi filthy communication. You know that filthy communication? Get that out your mouth. You I, know, hey, man, you a clean vessel. You don't pull out that filthy communication, man. I heard some brothers say some things, man. I, said, I heard that a brother said something, man. I said, I don't believe he said that. As a servant of God? Come on now. That just ain't right. Go ahead and read. Filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his See, that, that's, that's what that old man used to do. When you was out in the world, that's what the old man used to do. Don't do that stuff no more. Go ahead and read. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge. You know, you put on that new man. You got a new mind now. Yes. Renewed in knowledge. You ain't thinking like you used to. Go ahead and read. After the image of him that created him. You, in other words, you think like God thinks. Holy man. Let's look at this new man again. Let's go to Ephesians, the fifth chapter. No, Galatians, the fifth chapter. No, I don't want to go there easy. Ephesians, the fourth chapter. We get there. It's all good, bro. It's all good. Ephesians 4. Look at this new man again. Ephesians 4. Paul talks about that new man, and every time you say that new man is dealing with that uncleanliness. Because if you're going to put on this new man, you're going to keep this clean in this law. Paul talks all about it. We can go on and on talking with Paul, because Paul talks about that uncleanness. And he's very specific. Yes. You won't get in the kingdom. 4 and 17. Go ahead and read, brother. This I say, therefore... And testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Blindness, in other words, they refuse to do what the Lord say do. Go ahead and read. Who being past feeling have given themselves over into lasciviousness. You know, lustfulness. Go ahead and read. To work all uncleanness with greediness. You know, working all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. So you, if you're doing that, 
If you're doing that, you ain't learned Christ, man. You ain't learned Christ. If you're dealing with this uncleanliness and that lustfulness, you ain't learned Christ. If so, be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That ye put off concern in the form of conversation. You know, put off concern in the form of lifestyle. You don't do what you used to do. You can't go back there no more. You ain't in that life no more. Go ahead and read. That ye put off concerning the form of conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Because you know how old man was corrupt. Deceitful, man. Go ahead and read. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And you have to be, you got to have, your thinking have to change. You can't think like you used to. Go ahead and read. And that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. See, when you put on that new man, you create in righteousness and true holiness. Go ahead and read. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of See, another. See, we are members one to another. We supposed to get along. We are one. We supposed to be one just like Jesus and the Father is one. Go ahead and read. Be ye angry and sin not. Now, it's all right to get upset sometimes, but don't sin. Don't hold no grudges. Don't backbite. Don't do none of them hateful things. Go ahead and read. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Now, if you mad at somebody, bring it to the individual. Amen. Bring it to them. Yes, yes. Why you holding it in? Because that's when the grudge is If somebody done did something to you and you're you going to hold it in, go tell them. Because sometimes, you know, the individual might not even know nothing. Uh -huh. Might not know nothing. Here it is, you mad at them, they don't even know what you're mad about. Every time that brother look at me, he look at he ball up his fist. What I do to him? Go ahead and read. Neither give place to the devil. Because you are giving place to the devil when you do that. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, that th the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. Go ahead. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your See mouth. See how Paul keep on telling you about that corrupt communication? Yeah. That's some sinful stuff, sisters and brothers. Yes. You got to watch what you say and watch what you do. Go ahead and read. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Because people are listening to you. How can you call yourself a servant of God and you saying some of everything? Amen. You know, you're supposed to tell people good words to draw them into God. Yes, Here sir. they hear you cursing like a sailor. How are you going to be? And they are serving a God? Mm -hmm. And you can't plead on Peter all the time. Well, Peter cursed. No, that's, that was, he was cursing for his life. Go ahead and read. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Because when you, when you do those things, you grieve the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and read. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all Ain't malice. Paul telling you the same thing over and over? This is a part of being clean, sisters and brothers. This is why I'm reading this. You know, it ain't just what you digest. It is what you walk, the way you walk and the way you think. Yes, sir. That is the clean the Lord wants you to do, man. Go ahead and read. And be ye kind one to another. And he keep telling you to be kind to one another. Yes. Tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven because you. Because you got people out here that don't want to forgive nothing, but then you want Christ to forgive you. Amen. Think about this. Because the same way you don't forgive people, the same way the Lord might not forgive you. Let's look at it some more. But he said, be renewed in the spirit, right? Let's look at the spirit some. Let's go to Gal Galatians 5. Because everywhere you see the spirit, you got the unclean there too. He talks about it. I killed you with the Old Testament. Now I'm going to try to hurt you with the new. See that they're talking about the same thing. People be saying they under the Pauline doctrine. Boy, Paul was, Paul was rough. And I understand you got to have some understanding dealing with Paul's writing. You really do. Galatians 5 and 16. Dealing with this. Because Lord, that is what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to walk in the spirit. Yes, sir. He wants us to walk in the spirit. We got a few more spirit. We're almost there. Yeah. 5 and 16. Go ahead and read, brother. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And because when you're walking in the word, 